Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truder, welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, where last time we seized the second Imperial Throne, meaning there is just one more to go, and it's not even that far away from Kong Rong, right there, isolated, a small city, very unlikely that Empress Wu is going to be able to actually reinforce the area. Not least as over here on the other side of the Empire. Yeah, there's Empress Wu herself, about to launch an attack on my extremely soft eastern frontier, together with her one remaining legendary child, Sun Ren, the Rising Sun, who is in fact the Factioner, I think I overlooked that last time. But yeah, she is indeed the Factioner, so uh, the Empress and the Factioner are both about to attack a pretty damn unprepared rice paddy any flipping moment. I mean, I've got a sort of okay garrison there, and a reasonable enough army, albeit not one at full strength, but Sun Red is just going to slaughter literally anything in front of her. That is not going to be fun, but at the bare minimum, we may be able to slow them down. And even better, we can free Kong Rang from his terrible wife who he always flipping hated. Speaking of Kong Rang, he's just desperately trying to recover from a massive military loss last time, but that's fine. That military loss killed enough of the enemies that in some ways it was actually a victory. Yeah, that's how we're going to record that in the history books. Ah, yes, and don't forget up north on the border with Zhang Zhang, we do actually have an army with no strategists right now because we gave Sima Yi independence. This army's not really expected to do much, so go on then. Yang Di, currently an administrator. You've got a decent sized army with you. Get on board, though. To be honest, we can probably swap some of that out. Yeah, get rid of basic saber militia. Bring in at least one actual trebuchet. Marvellous. Oh, go on then. Two trebuchets. I'm not made of stone. Hopefully that army will never actually be needed for anything. But just in case Lu Bu or Zheng Zhang get any stupid ideas... Just to recap who's where, by the way, some people were asking for this in the comments. So, yeah, we've got Gong Sun Du up here, who has actually eaten that small fishing port off Yan Shu, and in doing so has actually triggered a war between Liu Bei over here and the Duchy of Zhong, Yan Shu, next door, because Liu Bei is allied with Gong Sun Zan. And of particular note, the Northwest has basically just exploded into catastrophic violence because Lu Bu and Zheng Zhang are both absolute cocky psychopaths who would rather burn down cities than capture them half the time. Which is why here, just north of Luoyang, we've actually got a city that is currently completely abandoned and also on fire. So these two have been doing horrible, horrible things to each other, and obviously, Lu Bu, having basically taken over the Han, is not desperately keen on his neighbour Gong Du either. Yeah, there's never going to be peace between the Han and the Yellow Turbans. So, that whole part of the world is a bit of a mess. Though, speaking of a mess, down south is certainly a bit messy as well. Because Sun Jian has pretty much run out of territory over here. There's a big old pile of Han Empire. Then we're into, yeah, the territory of Shi Zi, which is all a little bit all over the place. But actually, looking at this map right now, there's a path through Han territory straight to the final Imperial seat. Now, my Han friends, how do you feel about maybe, just maybe, giving me some military access. They're not keen, but they don't hate the idea either. I think I can make this work, because I'm just floating a, a giant pile of ancillaries right now. I've got to have a bunch of, you know, good quality stuff to just trade straight over to them. Here we go. One bit of armor I don't like that much. One horse that's appropriate for a commander, but we don't really use commanders, because to be honest, they are by far the worst commander type. And finally, on top of that, we've got ourselves a guard. So, put those three things together. Yeah, we're almost there. Tossing a tiny bit of money, they'll totally sign that. Okay, apparently the Han are desperate for money, because just 112 for 10 turns is enough to actually get that down to acceptable. So, okay then, marvellous. In which case, I will help myself to some military access. And that actually knocks the Han straight up to neutral. Love it. Though admittedly, my attempts to win over Yan Shu are not going well. He just constantly hates me because I maintain good relationships with as many people as possible in order to maintain a giant pile of very lucrative trade deals. The problem is, a trade deal counts as a diplomatic treaty. And if you have a diplomatic treaty with someone he's at war with, he doesn't like you. And he's kind of at war with everybody right now. So that's a fairly major diplomatic issue between the two of us. 
Also, I do keep forgetting, as Taishan is actually getting a bit miserable right now, and I'm swimming in money, guys, just, like, have a few years off taxation, it's fine, we've got plenty of money without ya. Right, everyone just needs to chill out here for a minute, and over here, yeah, I suspect we've got the flipping defense of our lives coming in momentarily. Gonsun's out on the move to... Uh, somewhere, I don't know where... Oh, here she comes. Oh, hang on. Did she just put me under siege or did she run out of movement points? Because if I'm under siege, that's a problem. I really needed her to actually launch an assault. Oh dear. The AI might be playing smarter than I was anticipating. Okay, so I think what's happened is uh, I've been put under siege and Kong Rang's terrible wife just straight up died of unrelated natural causes. Or possibly everybody hated her. It's a little bit unclear. So we need to insert someone else to actually keep her army. And okay, um, I guess we'll put you in because apparently you're like legendary or something. You appear to have a decent enough level of authority so you can do the same job. Go on then. Yes, death by natural causes. Well, she was 69 years old. Right, okay. So, that was just not coincidence. But we do have a bit of a problem here. Which is... Yeah, she's actually sieging us out rather than moving in directly. Oh, that's a real problem. That's... That's such a problem. Okay. If I just sit in here, I'm just taking attrition. But if I march out to meet her... Oh no. Okay, just out of interest, if we were to sally forth, how would this actually look? Now the game is saying I might be able to pull this one off. I'm not sure that's true because basically I think Sun Ren could win most of this by herself. But the game would basically be forced to make the AI defenders come and attack me because I've got the trebuchet and they don't. So, okay, we're gonna just have to give this a go, quite frankly. And by the way, can I actually night battle? Okay, I can night battle. Okay, that's one advantage. With the night battle morale penalties on my side, I think we might just, just be able to pull this off even in the open fields. Okay, consider what I'm looking at here. They have got themselves not much in the way of archers, to be honest. Only three units, so I definitely have the ranged advantage quite significantly, in fact. Cavalry is not great either. There's a fair bit of it, but four units of Lancer, only one of actual melee cavalry. So, not great resistance to my archers. But then again, I've only got two units of basic G for anti-cavalry. So, they could actually be a problem. Really need to pay closer attention to my flanks than it did last time. Obviously, it's winter, so as a result of that, trebuchet, very important. But on the other hand, level 1 trebuchet with only a third of a crew. That's not going to be doing that much, all things considered. And I cannot possibly duel Sun Ren. Cannot do it. Probably can't duel their champion either. No, can't do that either. Could I, in theory, duel Lady Wu? No. Okay, I can't duel anybody. We are not dueling on this occasion. I suspect they're going to win purely on the strength of their generals. But at the bare minimum, we can batter their army so damn badly that maybe, just maybe, we can push them back because they might not be able to break past the towers. Oh, we've got one hell of a battlefield here. Right. Giant piles of forest between me and Empress Wu, but one hell of a high ground I could use. But obviously, yeah, my reinforcements are actually starting a long, long way away from the battlefield. If I try and use this mountain, they're going to have to climb it themselves. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Obviously, we need to be as far as possible over on the far left. We need to make sure these guys can get to me. High ground doesn't mean quite as much as it used to back in the days of, say, Rome 1. But I think there is at least still a bit of an advantage to it. Right, number one, hide some cavalry way over there, out of the way, where they will hopefully not be spotted. Step two, anything that can, put them into flaming arrow mode. Sadly, the trebuchet can't, but as it's a level one, that's probably for the better. Flaming on level one trebuchets is just too inaccurate to justify. It's better they stay on stone. 
I really don't have much of an army here. And not much to protect myself against cavalry either. The only way I'm going to win is a morale victory. And that I might be able to do. It's night. Some of my archers have flaming arrows. My standing vanguard does have roar of the beast. So I might be able to make them break. But ultimately, yeah, my reinforcements are going to be pretty bloody crucial. I might need to use some of my cavalry one at a time just to basically be sacrificed to slow down Empress Wu. Let's make this happen. This is going to be tricky. One advantage though, the reinforcements do have spear warriors. We've got some charge reflection if we can get it into place in time. You guys, just start moving please. Just start moving through the forest fast as you can. I'm concerned that I think they might know where my cavalry is. It looks like they're actually heading in that direction. Which is uh, a little bit concerning, but hopefully not. Actually, then again... If they're going to waste their time heading in this direction, that works for me. That slows them down long enough for my reinforcements to get into position. And by the way, my trebuchets appear to be opening up. They've got... Oh yeah, they found me. They found me. Back off. Back off, back off, back off. Do not engage. And especially don't engage Sun Ren. I'm very concerned, by the way, that if they're going to approach this direction, they might at some point move out of my trebuchet range. Right, you guys, uh, you need to just uh, rotate yourselves, please. But bear in mind, trebuchets are so slow, uh, we want them to do as little movement as possible. That'll probably do the job uh, right there. Because, yeah, they're going to take a bloody age to get set up again. And uh, one of them has actually been caught pinned down. Dear, oh dear. Right, Sunrun is... Actually, Sunrun is looking... Why is Sunrun... Oh, that's her ammo counter. Yeah, because she can also, you know, fire magic bullets. That's absolutely fine. That's okay. When she runs out of her super-powered bullets, that's absolutely good news. So she can just waste those on some flipping cavalry. Oh, my cavalry's been just seen off so fast. Right, you guys, get round the other side, please. Trebuchets are starting to fire into the forest. That's good at least. Where are my reinforcements? They're starting to get into position, but it's going to take them a while. You guys, lead them off in this direction if you flipping can. Oh, there's so many archers. There are so many flipping archers. I don't know what we're going to do here. Right, melee cavalry, just start trying to lead these guys off onto one side. She's almost out of ammo, only two shots left from her magic bow, so that's good. You guys disappear back into the forest if you can, then just loop round to the back of the archers. I've got my own archers, that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Trebuchets are firing down as best they can, but against fast moving targets, it's not going to be as effective. Right, OK, just start looping round here, that's basic sword militia. Might be able to do some good work against him. Yeah, screw it. Get one charge in, you'll get a good charge bonus. You'll do some good damage. It'll just start slowing them down. Yeah, look at that. That's good work right there. That's some lovely, lovely damage. Now, immediately back off, all right? Just keep them dancing as long as you can. Lay down the fire. You, pull out of there. Try and just keep them back. I'm starting to see what we're seeing here. Right, there we go. Now, bring the cavalry over here. We do have a run at the archers. And we've also got flaming arrows coming down right now. Are you guys almost in position? You guys are almost in position. Right, you guys, all of the reinforcement archers. Are you guys on? Yeah, fire at will. Do not skirmish, please. Just start firing as soon as you flipping can. Where are their cavalry? Their cavalry is all over here. Right, guys... I need more spearmen coming over here as fast as you flipping can, please. Just draw them up over there. I think this actually might be too steep to stand on. Okay, how are the cavalry doing? They're doing all right round the back. They're not doing too bad at all. One of you, get back over here. Just the one of you, please. Get back over here, hit you. One of you, get back over here, hit you. Let's get these archers out of here, please. You two... Probably best you actually, uh, yeah, get away from those swordsmen. There's more cavalry floating around. Speaking of which, where's their cavalry? 
It's starting to approach my line. No, in fact, we can't do that at all. Everybody automatically rejects duels. Well, hang on. Let's just double check whether he even can duel anybody. You, my good man. Is there anyone you could... No, you would be slaughtered by anybody. So, we're not dueling. We are just not dueling. Are they at the front line yet? They sort of are, but it's not so bad. Okay, one of you, focus over here at these guys. One of you, keep your attention down over on those swordsmen. It looks like we're doing not too bad, all things considered. And they're sending a few, yeah, chargy cavalry lads into my front line. Which is not going to be great. Where's the rest of their cav? I don't know. More of it seems to be coming in fast. You guys spread out a bit. Spread out a bit. And are oh, the champions coming in. That's less good. Still, we've got plenty of archer fire over here now. The problem is, you know what, Vanguard? Probably it's best for you to get down over here. And let's have our first roar of the beast of the fight, please. Let's see if we can just knock these guys straight out. Morale is down to 18, 12, 15, minus 5. So they're pretty much on their way out. Good. Problem is, right, you guys, fall back, fall back, fall back. Activate Wisdom of the River. Let's get their melee evasion down to zero. Where's the rest of their troops, by the way? You're retreating. You, get on the champion. All right, and you... Don't get too close. You've only got nature's ally. That's a passive buff. That's no problem at all. Where's my... Oh, yeah, the cavalry. Sorry, I forgot about you guys. Um, right, you. Get over here. Hit them, though. I think you're out of ammo. You guys, pull away as far as you can. You know what? You've done your job. You've staggered them. That's what we needed you to do. They are being staggered right now. This is positive. There's Empress Wu herself. Right, get some spears on her. She's a commander. She's not good at fighting. There's Sun Ren. She's flipping terrifying. Get a G militia on her. Oh, bloody hell. G militia versus Sun Ren. Yeah, that's gonna work. I bet that's gonna flipping fly. We are getting a lot of breaks over on this flank, which is very, very good news. And uh, I kind of need you guys, yeah, push forward a bit, push forward a bit. There's, uh, there's still something down the hill, but it's not much. And my cavalry is just being chased off by theirs. But the thing is, if we keep their cavalry out of the fight for now, that's fine. I have got plenty of spears and G. That is not an issue. You guys, get forward. Get forward, get forward. Start surrounding these guys. Where, by the way, is my... Oh, blimey. Okay, you've not been going great, have you? Get over here, away from all of their lot. Get in here. Roar of the Beast. Break. Oh, no, he broke before he could use Roar of the Beast. That's no good. At... Oh, no. Where are all of you? Where the hell is everybody? Fall back, fall back, fall back. Why are you not responding to my commands? Get back over here. Get back over here. You're not ready for Wisdom of the River yet. Okay, um, yeah, the problem most definitely is the very, very high volume of generals. In particular, Sun Ren. The one advantage we've got is, oh dear, Sun Ren is just starting to cause a lot of trouble for me. And she's still got 34,000 health. Get back over there. Do what you can. You guys fall back a bit, please. Fall back a bit. If you can get away from her, great. Please do. And you guys, yeah, just lay down some fire over there as far as you can. That would be flipping marvellous. Let's just see if we can scare these guys off. Focus some fire on Lady Wu, if at all possible. Because some of their generals are starting to get a bit worn down. Concentrate fire over there. Let's see if we can just, yeah, get some of these units broken apart. And you've recovered. Right. Do you want to get over there? And, yeah, you know what? Just go and attack her because, honestly, what else are you going to do? In fact, hang on. Could you sacrifice yourself by keeping Sun Ren busy? Yes. Just basically, okay, you're dueling Sun Ren. You're going to lose, absolutely, but it will keep Sun Ren out of the fight. For now, that's what we need to happen. We just need to keep Sun Ren out of the fight. Everybody, just get over. Okay, she was defeated really, really, really fast. And she actually fled. What a bloody coward. Right, everybody else, get over here. Attack Sun Ren. And how's the infantry doing over here? How are you doing, by the way? 17,000. Okay, not spectacular. You're over here. 
get over here and use Wisdom of the River to support the front line. Well, the kind of the new front line. The old front line's completely flipping gone. Cavalry's trying to get in her way. Do not flipping let them do it. Go over here. Slam into the back of these guys. You might be able to do at least some damage. You're a strategist, so no, no, you can't. Right, just push straight past them. What's left up here? Nothing, basically. A handful of crossbowmen who might be able to do a little bit of light damage, but not much. Right, you. Wisdom of the river. Melee evasion down to zero. So that will help out at least a little bit. Now, where are their heroes? You've still got 14,000. That's not nothing. You. Fire down the hill at this slot. You two guys. Do the same. You can actually do a fair bit of damage yet. Continue firing at these troops. That's going to do something. That's going to do a nice bit of damage. Look at that. Numbers starting to go down. You guys have rallied nicely. Well flipping done. And you guys just focus over here. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Okay. You're actually out of ammo. Yeah, you're not a very good strategist, are you? So as a result of that, you've not got as much ammo as I'd normally expect. You guys... Try and keep this guy busy as far as you can. What's that over there? Nothing of note. Go and hurt this here archer group. And at the bare minimum, we have done some very good damage to some of their units. Focus all your attacks on the Empress. Let's bring her down if we can. You guys, everybody get involved. Anyone who's got any ammunition whatsoever, just toss yourselves at that front line. We might be able to have a break yet. And when I say we've got a break, yeah, it's basically Sun Ren that's won it. She's just running everywhere and destroying everything. There's no answer to Sun Ren aside from having a really good commander of your own. And sadly, I do not have a good enough commander here. Valiant defeat. I will take Valiant defeat because we've knackered their generals and weakened their forces enough that maybe, with the assistance of the towers, we can actually halt them at the rice fields. You see, I've still got 1,600 troops remaining. She, meanwhile, has only got 875, though one of those troops is Sun Ran, who got 500 of her kills. So, okay, I'm pretty happy with this. All things considered. And she's really annoyed at me right there. Okay, who needs to replace the dead guy? Right, we're just going to hire someone and drop him straight in. A champion. A champion could be just, just what we need. Deploy a champion, please. And, oh my, they captured Gongji and just straight up executed him. You know what? I can't blame them. I brought that on myself. I've been executing their family members... I cannot blame them when they start doing it straight back to me. Though weirdly they decided to release this woman. Right, possibly she wasn't actually worth killing, though she died. Right, so she was killed and Gongji was executed. The other one was let go. So who's actually still here? Right, you're actually still here. Gotcha, you haven't got... Oh dear. You haven't got much, do ya? Okay, how's the garrison looking? Not great. But how are you looking? Very flimsy too. Right. I'm not sure what happens now precisely. But I will say, I do have, present and correct at this point, a full strength champion. Not a great champion. And can actually slip him a better weapon. I think I might be able to, but I need to actually, yeah, give him one of the good ones I'm using. So I'm not going to do that. But I think he might be able to assassinate the Empress. And potentially their champion as well, who's also their chancellor. So that, that would not be bad. But I'm going to wait one turn just to see if she's actually going to try and attack me again. Because if she tries to actually push in at this point, yeah, with the advantage of the towers, I might stand a chance. Okay, back over on this side of the empire. And now, Kong Rong, you can just start marching south. Stick inside Han territory... And technically, you won't have broken any rules, though. Uh, that's not Han territory. Are there any roads that, that let you actually get down to the Han territory? Because I suspect you're going to need to... Right, you need to basically trespass anyway. Sorry about this, guys. I promise I will not be actually attacking you. No intention to... Right, okay. So you're probably going to attack me if I try and cut through your territory, aren't you? And also, uh, how good's this rice paddy in terms of... Okay, that's not contributing anything too much. Guys, 
What I need to do is just pass through. I'm not looking for any... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What if I made peace with you guys? All right. What if me and you had some lovely, lovely peace? He really doesn't want peace. And I'm guessing he's going to want military access even less. Yeah, no way in hell that's going to fly. Okay, Kong Rong just needs to go straight through this forest. He'll probably come and attack me, but that's fine. As for you, you can't make it to the city right now. So I'm going to put him into force march mode just to make sure he can actually get inside immediately. With the assistance of the growing garrison, he'll be fine. And next turn, yeah, we'll move him straight back out of march mode. Nothing major there at all. And Kong Rang has declared Sun Ren his rival. Well, la -de da because uh, if my plan works out, yeah, there's a very good chance Sun Ren might be about to become Empress Sun Ren. Ah, uh, yes, and with plus 25 food even in winter, we're probably in a good place to actually, uh, yeah, start getting Changsha up towards a level 10 city. Marvellous. In fact, screw it, let's just make that happen. Oh, gotta love that extra money. Yeah, 550 commerce being boosted by 705%. Very, very nice indeed. Right, time to see if you're planning to come and attack me. Hopefully not. I promise I'm just passing through. And yeah, where the Lady Wu decides to push in. I'm hoping she'll decide to on this occasion. So, Kingdom of Wu. Yes, she's going to do it. She's actually invading. Now... There is a good chance we will lose, but I think we can pick off the Empress. Right now, how much health do you actually have? 7,200 hit points. That's it. That is not much. My champion should, hopefully, be able to pull that off, especially as we can use any remaining towers to soften her up a little bit. And the champion's only 4,900. Yeah. I think we can actually get some kills here. Sun Ren, I think we'll be able to win it single-handedly. So nothing we can do about her. But let's pick off the Empress. Because this here is what is so amazing about Rice Paddies. Just look at these tiny, tiny choke points right here. Only two ways in. Well guarded by towers right there. And if you fall back, just tight, tight, tight all the way up. It is basically nothing but a single giant choke point for the entire map. It's beautiful. And all we need to do is choke them right at the front door. Now the Empress is right there, but then so is Sun Ren. Right, that's where my champion wants to be then. You stay right here. Get ready to just go and attack her as soon as you can. Now I've still got some Archer Fire. Not much, but some. Over here, meanwhile... Yeah, not a huge amount. I think the towers can just kill that guy directly. So, uh, towers will just take out this guy, supported by a bit more staff. The cavalry is... Yeah, that's the best bit of cav they've got left on the field by the Luxy of it, though. There's one uh, sort of okay one over there. Right, if we've got any decent spears, uh, put them at the front door on this side. Right, this group over here could be group one. But the real attention should be over here. This... This is where we might be able to do something truly spectacular. I mean, this is not a complicated formation. Just spears up front, G up front, archers behind. Do what we can. They have to walk into our tower fire. That's literally it. And the tower fire has already started. Now, the towers. Because we can manually aim them. What we would like you guys to do is target this guy. And you, I would also like to target this guy, please. Oh, hang on, you're not quite in range of this guy right now. There you go. Now, all firepower on him right now. Oh, he's falling back. What a sneaky bastard. Right, how about you guys over here? Right, you're coming forward a lot more aggressively. And uh, the Empress is up front. Okay, then, that works for me. Target all firepower on the Empress. Champion and... Oh, hello. The Champion? No, they don't want to duel, unfortunately. Even though she is stronger, she won't duel regardless. Okay. What about you guys? Are you... Oh, you're just... Oh, you're going to be annihilated. He's going to be annihilated. He's already down to 1,600. He's got flipping nothing. Right, okay. Over to here, meanwhile. She's just trying to get right in at the front. 2,700. 
Dropping down fast. Right, that champion is already dead. And Sunren wants to challenge him. No, that's not going to fly. But what I will say, however, is at this point, yeah, you guys, ooh, Empress Wu just went berserk. Because, yeah, she actually liked that guy. So, sorry about that. Right, next up. Towers, target Sun Ren. We need to take her out. Because if somehow we could deal with her, that'd be enough. We might be able to pull a victory out of this one. This flank doesn't seem to be doing particularly well as far as I'm concerned. You guys... Focus on these G over here. The cavalry are a problem. We've got some charge deflection at the back there. Over here, meanwhile, this is where the real issue is. Okay, Lady Wu, 3,700. It's time for you to get over there and just try and take her out. If she's willing to duel, no. Okay, no, she's coming forward too. Sunrun is coming to intercept. And 3,100. I think Sunrun's coming in to try and protect her mother right now. 29,000. 1,500. And we've taken her out. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. I imagine, yes, Sun Ren is really, really, really damn annoyed about this situation. Understandably, really. Right. Uh, Towers, continue focusing all firepower on Sun Ren. Two generals are dead, including the Empress. Meanwhile, over here, this front appears to be going pretty well. Right, those guys have now collapsed. Is there anything left here? I don't think so. In which case, uh, all of you guys, start moving over here. Archers, start moving over there as well. You may as well come and assist. They're trying to push us back beyond the towers. And they're pretty much doing it purely on grounds of, oh dear, Sun Ren is still very dangerous. Right, concentrate all fire. In fact, just concentrate literally everything on Sun Ren. Just go and attack. Oh, flipping heck. Did Sun Ren just basically... Sun Ren is shanking the hell out of that guy. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Do not allow her to shank you. Go and shank her once she's bogged down. All we need to do is just keep her incredibly bogged down. I think she's going to win this by herself. That's the problem. Right, now get in over there. Do what you can. You, same thing. And how are we doing right now? How are we doing? Where are the rest of my troops? Because yeah, I do actually have some troops over here. Draw up over here, please. Get over there. She's down to 20,000. And okay. Um. So the commander's dead. That's fine. She was a random new hire. Oh, I think everyone's dead. <laughs> Sun Ren just straight up shanked everybody. She has avenged her mother. But her mother is... Uh, her mother's down 19,000. I don't think we can actually do 19,000 damage, unfortunately, to Sun Ren. Do you have any ammo left, by the way? I'm not sure if you do. Okay, everybody here. Just everything on Sun Ren. Just fire on Sun Ren. Bring her down. How's this over here doing, by the way? We've got a tiny bit of cavalry. It's not doing anything right now, so... Yep, just get over here. Everybody, do what you can. Just keep her busy. It's just her. 19,000. She's not going down at all. Right, okay. Um, Change your targets to these guys, please. Let's just actually keep the infantry busy. She can go wherever she wants, at least for the time being. You guys, uh, lay down some fire right here. Marvellous. Let's just actually, yeah, take out some of these guys. You guys, yep, she's actually turning her attention back over here because her troops are starting to panic. I think she's going to go and try and take the plaza, but the plaza is not automatic victory. Um, okay, how are we doing? The enemy are... We've got some cavalry here. Okay, see if we can just knock them out once and for all. These guys are... They're at zero. They should be breaking soon. Hopefully, anyway, you guys just get around the back over here. Keep laying down the fire. You guys, keep laying down the fire. You guys, get over here. My infantry is... Okay, my infantry's holding. One of theirs is falling apart here. Right, you back off. Let's just use any charge bonus we've got, which is not much. But Sunren's... She's just naffed off over there. Right, okay, good, 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 good. Right, just 
hit these guys over and over. We're running out of ammo at this point. These horses are doing a good job finishing off some of these guys. 25 and dropping. You guys, get back. These are melee cavalry. They're supposed to be involved in an extended melee. They're not terrible at it. Their charge bonus is not great, but it'll do. You guys, stop firing for the time being. Save your ammo for Sun Ren. The problem we've got here is, yeah, she's 24. You get over here and start knocking them down. Nine, four. I think we might be able to finish off all of this here infantry. The problem is, what's left now has to beat Sun Ren. And I'm not sure they can. Okay, guys, I've got a plan. Sun Ren appears to be coming to take us out. I think she's coming in this direction. If we retake the towers and then fall back outside of the town, we might be able to use the towers to our advantage again. And the towers are the only things on the map that are going to be able to kill Sun Ren right now. Yeah, the problem is because her close relatives died during this fight, she's now actually stuck inside phase three of Berserk. So she now gets bonus 70% to... She did not need bonus 70% to that, but whatever. And... Guys, what are you doing? Oh, good. Those are the enemy. Okay. We've got what we need. Now, now we fall back outside the town. Everybody, fast as you can. Back outside the town, please. Back outside the town. These towers are hit like a flipping brick. We might, just might, be able to finish off Sun Ren with the towers. She's attacking. She's got to make this happen. Where are you going, Sun Ren? Possibly if I were to send the cavalry at her and then make them retreat outside, I might be able to pull her over. Come on, Sun Ren, over here. What's your morale right now? Only 21. Her morale is at only 21. It's not that great. I'm going to send the cavalry over. I might be able to bait Flames of the Phoenix out of her, but actually if she's coming this way. Right, guys, back off. Back off, back off, back off. Let's see if we can actually get ourselves. Yeah, she went in for an attack there, but it didn't land. Come on, Sun Ren. Come on, out you come. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We might just be close enough to make this happen here. Come on, towers. Oh, okay. The thing is, she's going to charge. There we go. We've got her in the tower range. Everybody, forward. Everybody forward, aside from one unit. Keep one unit back to make sure you don't all break simultaneously. Everybody over here. 13,000. 12,000. The towers are doing magnificently good work. 9,000 and falling. 8,000 and falling. 6,000 and falling. This is the power of the towers right here. She's retreating. We flipping won it. Oh my goodness. We held. We actually held. And no, no, no. No. Don't let her get away. And apparently I'm not allowed to continue. Wait, did she just, did she just get picked off? Are any of them dead? Is the Empress dead? And is the new Empress dead? Oh, flip. Empress Wu is indeed dead. But Sun Ren... We've captured Sun Ren. Oh, flip. Right. Well, here's the thing. She's really, really, really dangerous right now. And uh, yeah, she's rivals with Kong Rong. She's nemesis with Lu Gan for some reason. Uh, yeah. So, she really hates Kong Rong and Kong Rang. And she's never going to work for me. Spare my life and... Okay. She did just say indebted. She didn't do the whole South South, let me go and I shall wage terrible vengeance upon you speech. That's good. What would I get if I killed her? Literally just an heirloom spear. You know what? I'm going to let her go. I'm going to see if maybe one day me and the Sun Dynasty can live side by side in peace. And I think I'll just be taking the replenishment, thanks. So you guys can just naff off, actually. And okay, that faction now belongs to Sun Ren. Admittedly, I have still killed her mother, father, and at least one brother, possibly more than one. So maybe I'm being a bit optimistic here. Okay, so more dead generals, bloody hell. Right, welcome aboard. It's a lovely place to live, I promise. And there we go. Sun Ren is now running this place. And yep, more people are dead. Lots of flipping people are dead. Lovely. Still, Sleeping Dragon has apparently set up a stock exchange. So as a result of that, yep, 15% income. I believe that's in Changsha. So that is even more flipping money. Right, a lot of people just died in that fight. 
Awful lot of people, and uh, Sunran isn't even here. Right. Okay, Sunran, let's me and you have a chat with each other. Although first, let's figure out what you're like. So, uh, you are brave. May attack superior forces on the campaign map. Only retreat from battle if there's a friendly walled settlement in movement range. Fine. So we can be confident she won't retreat if we take her on again. In wars, prefers to move and attack quickly. Doesn't stop to consolidate. Friendly, highly values positive diplomatic events. Easy to build relationships with. Tends to release captives. Well, she didn't release my captives. She put them to bloody death. Then again, I am very untrustworthy right now, unfortunately. Still... In theory, she's open to peace, so we're not in a terrible place with her, and we have held onto this territory. That's not bad at all. And even better, Kongrong was not actually attacked, so we can just carry on our way. In fact, you know what, Kongrong, into March Dance, please. Let's get out of here a bit faster. I think even if you were exhausted, you'd be absolutely fine. You've got a good enough army that being tired would not be a problem. And momentarily, you'll be into hand territory, got military access, much easier to pass through. Right, Kong rang out of march mode, his troops now healing up nice and fast, and the city should have, uh, yeah, a good garrison too. So, uh, no one's getting in there, though, then again. Lusu is right here. We could just go and take out Lusu. You know what, let's actually first, you know, recharge my guys. Also, that reminds me, Kong Rang is now single again. And he could marry Gan Yen. She's a bit older, but then so is Kong Rang, I believe. Hang on, Kong Rang is... How old are you these days, my friends? He's 60, and I believe Gan Yen is about the same. She is... She's 67. Okay, she's definitely a bit older. They're unlikely to be having children... Do they even get on with each other, by the way? No, they despise each other. Right, do not marry them. Oh, but hang on. How about Yan Shu? That could be a good way of shoring up my relationship. Nope, sadly there's no one appropriate for Kong Rang to marry. What a shame. Oh, but we might have someone here. Apparently, Zheng Zhang has someone up for grabs. And I wouldn't mind potentially having, uh, yeah, a bit more in the way of peace with her. So... Some court noble. Okay, honestly, a bit of a random there, but if it would actually help the relationship between me and Zheng Zhang, we do have a border up north, wouldn't be a bad idea to have a marriage alliance. Oh, and even better, they actually like each other. There's no better options, I've been through the entire diplomatic table, this is the only woman up for grabs in the whole of China, so... Uh, Go on then, we shall marry them together in order to just slightly warm up my relationship with Zhen Zhang. Now admittedly she's not desperately keen on this idea because apparently the character is a little bit worthwhile. So, okay, I am willing to toss you a big old pile of food to make this happen. Okay, toss us some random trash I'm not particularly using. 12 food, we can make this happen. And that should make our relationship a lot warmer as time goes by. There we go, we're actually trending towards positive now. Marvellous. Oh, and it's reform tree time, and I think it's the one I've been waiting for. Oh, there we go. It's farm level 5. And on top of that, because this is just a bloody brilliant one, the Azua Dragons. Now, once you got these guys, basically, as far as I'm concerned, champions should just be travelling around with six of them, because these guys are just brilliant. They're good at everything. They're basically just like, yeah, glaive spearmen things, who also carry bows. And they're damn good bows. Range of 200, damage of 40, armor piercing of 25, ammunition's limited. But then again, it doesn't need to be massive because they're also your frontliners. Once the battle's joined, they're not fighting anymore. So they don't need tons of ammunition at all. They hit pretty hard. They start with armor piercing damage. They're brilliant all-round units. So yeah, we'll be taking that. And that actually opens up, well, basically... Uh, a giant pile of things I need to do. Let's get some farms set up here because all of a sudden, yes, everything needs to go up to level 5. I've got so many upgrades to do for once I've actually run out of money before doing all of my upgrades. Bloody hell. Alright, let's see what's happening next at this point. So, nothing dramatic there. That's just my troops withdrawing from Liu Bei's territory. Sun Ren is... Oh, Join us. No, 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 no. I am not attacking Liu Bei. I love Liu Bei. I feel like me and you, Yanshu, we're going to fall out at some point, aren't we? No, I'm very sorry. But I'm not attacking Liu Bei. I like Liu Bei. He's awesome. 
Yeah, even as I slowly start turning more of the map green and yellow and I start repairing my battered reputation, uh, me and Yan Shu just aren't seeing eye to eye. Now game, what is the fastest way for Kong Rong to make his way through this area? And yeah, with the military access, it's much faster for me to get around here. So it's going to take, give or take, about a year or so to get down there. But that's absolutely fine because, yeah, I have got military supplies for days because Kong Rong is a bloody genius. It is also really bugging me that Lu Su's just standing right there. Right, we're going to go hunt down Lu Su. Go get him. He's also willing to fight for some reason, so that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to fight this one myself because I want to make sure Lu Su doesn't die. Because I wouldn't mind capturing him if I could. Because I suspect, on balance, he might actually be willing to work for me. Alright, he hated Sun Jan and I killed Sun Jan. But it's possible since then... I may have killed some of his oath sworn. We'll have to see about that. Okay, crossbows moving in, providing supporting fire. I'm just going to go and assassinate this here sentinel. She's got like no health, so this shouldn't be a problem. She won't duel. She's too low on health, but we should be able to just pretty much kill her immediately. And uh, she's going to try and adamant resolve because of course she is. Well, she can't keep doing that forever. It's going to wear off sooner or later. And there we go. She's already dead. Marvelous. Now, the important thing is, Lu Su should not die here. Lu Su should instead just be chased off without being murdered. Do not engage him directly. There we go. He's already fleeing. Good. That's precisely what I wanted. And now, victory. With Lu Su definitely not dead. So, uh, I think we had like a two-thirds chance of capturing him. So, we'll see if maybe he'll work for us now. And we got him, but sadly, he's not willing to fight for me. That's a bit of a shame. Ah, he picked up a rivalry with Hao Meng at some point. So, uh, yeah, he just doesn't really like the guy I'm traveling around with right now. That's a bit of a shame. I would get Robe of the Omen Maker... Not spectacular, and he is saying I'll be indebted if I release him. All right, off you go. We'll run into you again later, perhaps. Still, there's some good progress going on down here. Yan Shu is actually expanding very aggressively into Sun Territory. And with me mopping up their best generals and armies, he's basically unopposed, because these places just do not have garrisons. So, uh, yeah, he's done very well out of this war. Though I can't deny, I am starting to think... Is it potentially time for me to say, oh, no, that's not important. Is it time for me to break off this alliance and instead just settle into a nice, peaceful, non-aggression packed military access? Because, uh, yeah, I feel like being in an alliance where he wants me to get involved in all these wars I have no interest in, it's really hurting our relationship. Also, Simi wants to help with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. And officially, he's offering us assistance. I'm gonna be honest, Simi Yi. I feel like you're the one that needs the assistance because you're the one who's got the yellow turbans, but go on. I'll say yes, sure. Oh, and I think the farming upgrades have started coming through. Not all of them are done yet, but plenty of them are. And food has jumped to positive 60 right there. And with abundant food surplus, that's plus 25% income from peasantry. Flippin' love it. Oh, and so many of them aren't even done yet. Screw it. Throw money at it. 69. Nice. Throw money at that too. 74. 70 flipping four. That one's not did it. 77. Okay. Now this. This is good stuff right here. And you know what else is nice, by the way? Kong Rang has officially become cheerful. That's just lovely. And fortunately, no one hates him being cheerful. So that's good too. In fact, that's genuinely good news because, yeah, as our next potential faction leader, that is plus five satisfaction. So that's great. Add that on top of honesty. Yeah, he's going to be a good leader. Now, we do have a few problems up north. For example, yes, Zhang Yan won't accept he's been defeated. And Gonsun Zan appears to be being a little bit lax in the question of actually dealing with him. So, as Gonsun Zan hasn't really come round to me, but on the other hand, Gonsun Du actually is coming round to me pretty nicely, I don't really need Gonsun Zan as a vassal anymore. He hates being a vassal, so what I'm going to do at this point is basically say... All threats from him are at this point eliminated. This frontier is pretty well guarded. Yi has got itself a very, very good garrison right there. Gan Yen 
is right there as well. Ping Wan is extremely well guarded too. No one's breaking in there. I'm actually happy for him to be independent. So that will hopefully cheer him up quite a lot. Yep, straight away that gets rid of a big old pile of problems for me. Now, on top of that, what can we actually do? So once I've liberated him, can I extort him for any good stuff while I'm doing it? No, he's got nothing I want, to be honest. So I might just do this because I feel like it. Because I'm nice like that. You know what? Congratulations. Enjoy being free. Yep, we can get a non-aggression pact out of him. Lovely. And that's another plus 22. So give it a bit of time, he'll probably chill out a fair bit. Zhen Zhang's already coming round nicely, because we've got marital ties with her. Because I've liberated him, he'll come round. Gonsun Du has really come round to me. Liu Bei, we're totally fine with. What I really need now is, yeah, just basically getting out of the alliance with Yan Shu, and just settling into a nice non-aggression pact to military access with him. All right, what's happening next in the world? Liu Bei is still just bumbling around. No idea what his long-term plan is, to be honest. He's been all over the place in this game. And Gonsun Zan, yes, that's a force just dotted about. Not sure what you want. No movement from Sun Ren. That's the important bit. Oh, and this is just perfect. The moment he doesn't work for me anymore, Zhen Zhang has gone straight for Gonsun Zan. So uh, those two can just keep each other busy for all I care. No problem at all. In fact, Gonsun Zan just got brought into a new coalition immediately. Okay, and... Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, dear. So, um... Yeah. Cheng Pu. This is unfortunately going to potentially be... A problem. Yeah, so Cheng Pu's a bit annoyed about the fact that I killed a large number of his oath sworn friends and family. Oh, that's such a shame. I mean, I'd love to just actually swap him out, but we're behind enemy lines. I could, in theory, recall him. No, I can't even recall him because he's in foreign territory. Oh, hang on. Kong Rong has just actually been maimed. Sorry, was that a thing that literally just did happen already? Yes, the chance to gain a wound, I presume, is the thing that already happened because I've picked up being maimed and my relationship has greatly deteriorated. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure why Cheng Pu's wandering around saying, I am a greater warrior than Kong Rong. Yes, yes, we know. That's why we brought you along, to be a better warrior than me, because that's not Kong Rong's job. Still, maimed is just melee damage down and, yeah, minus four expertise. So, honestly, it's not actually that important for Kong Rong anyway. Also, Simi Yi, yeah, that Yellow Turban Rebellion starting to get out of hand, actually. I feel like my new vassal is about to be immediately eaten by the bloody Yellow Turbans. Also, yes, indeed, with all of this food, uh, Chang Sha, congratulations. You are now going to be a level 10 city. Flipping love it. 5,000 gold a turn. Right, which other ridiculous mega earners could do with being a bit bigger? Because it's the trade cities in particular, the commerce ones, that need to be bigger. Because the bigger cities do provide big commerce bonuses. So, uh, even though it's not the biggest, Guangling, probably not doing so bad at all. But yeah, the big thing now is Kong Rong's big dangerous trek with Cheng Pu, who apparently holds more of a grudge uh, than I thought and... Okay, hang on. Gonsun Zan offers us peace on behalf of Zhang Yan. Did you just vassalize him or something? I assume you did. Yes, I'm very happy to have peace with Zhang Yan. I'm guessing, yes, yeah, you've actually done that on his behalf. You just immediately vassalized him because you two get on with each other, which is absolutely A-OK. -okay. I've just basically created peace across China. This is amazing. Admittedly, Gong Du's decided he wants to scrap the non-aggression pact, but then he's like all the way over there in the west somewhere, so that doesn't really affect me, to be honest. Wait, hang on. Liu Bei got Gonsun Zan to join a war. Okay, hang on. Hang on. What's going on here? Yes, Gonsun Zan did indeed vassalize Zhang Yan. That's all absolutely fine, but how did Liu Bei get Gonsun Zan into that war? I'm not 100% sure because they're not actually in an alliance or anything, but possibly he bribed him or something. Oh, I suspect Sun Ren's not quite done with us yet. Yeah, she's drawn up a brand new army in this town just south of the rice paddy. Right, guys, let's actually just uh, 
scared some more. Why have you got flipping archers and whatever? Okay, let's actually, like, you know, bring in some new people. Bring in the newbies, the ones we don't care if they die. Here we go, a zoo of dragons. Sorry, didn't realize everyone could train these guys. They're even better. Right, let's just get nothing but a zoo of dragons here. Giant front line of a zoo of dragons and... Uh, We'll probably get rid of... Uh, yeah, we probably need some actual proper heavy spearmen. Just for safety. Yeah, some nice medium guys over here. Actually, you know what? Protectors of heaven. They'll do some good work too. We've got the money for it. Well, we've got the money for one anyway. Right, one proper heavy guy. Right, now that... That's going to be a decent army, combined with the fact I've actually upgraded this place to level 5. So yeah, the garrison here is even better than it flipping was. Plenty of medium halberds, medium shields, medium archers. Okay, good flipping luck with this, alright? Good flipping luck. Alright, Kong Rong has made it up to the small city. So, I don't know what's actually in it, but next turn, he should arrive. Liu Bei still bumbling around. Gonsan Zan is not keen on me, but he signed a non-aggression pact. I think we're safe for the time being. He's got plenty to take care of in the form of Zhen Zhang, because they're at war with each other. So, that should keep him distracted. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. And uh, no major moves from anyone else. I think Sun Ren's still busy. We might be able to wrap this up before Sun Ren is ready to attack, and then uh, we might be able to buy some peace. Oh, and speak of the devil, Cheng Pu has leveled up, so uh, can we get you anything good, my good man? Honestly, I'm not sure. Adamant Resolve would be nice, so uh, I guess we'll just give you... Uh, yeah, go on, we'll give you Perception, uh, just for chance for avoiding ambush for the entire army. That's not bad. And actually, more importantly, beyond that, yeah, zeal is better than understanding, to my mind. All right, Kong Rong, round the corner, and oh. Okay. So, as it turns out, they ain't given up without a fight yet. This city has not been left unguarded. Garrison's basic stuff, no additional garrison. We got ourselves additional armies here. An unreadable warrior, right. We've got some special people here. You're a legendary with very, very high resolve and all of that business. You're nothing special and you are... I think you're a child of Sun Jan, but like not one of the historical ones. One of the ones that was born after the beginning of the game, so you're actually just a random. But you have been given some good quality stuff. Right, so we're not just walking in for this final one. No, 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 no. As it turns out, we are actually going to have to... You can't make it there this turn. Great, well done, Kong Rong. Right, next turn, we're not just walking in. All right, also, how much in the way of reserves do you have? Do I actually know that off the top of my head? No, I think I need to siege it before I find that out. Okay, so Sun Ren might get her shot at me yet. Actually, she's broken down one of her units. So, uh, yeah, she definitely had three units a minute ago. Also, she absolutely hates this guy, so uh, maybe she's going to call up someone a bit better. Ah, yes, and the reform tree is ready to go. I do love the reform tree. Right, with various vassals releasing all that good stuff, probably time to invest a bit more into trade, actually, yes. Here we go, my trading ports can now become grand trading ports. But tragically, not spice trading ports, because that is literally the one resource in the world I don't have access to yet. Everything else I've got, either directly or through trading, but yeah, spice never had that. Still, a basic grand trading port is pretty damn good, and I can very cheaply convert it to a spice trading port if I ever come across that. In fact, I've actually got these guys all over a whole bunch of seaside territories, just as my empire, yeah, it kind of snakes around various rivers and the sea. It's not very inland at all. So I've got a giant pile of those ports ready to be upgraded. And oh my, right, he's not waiting for me. He's coming straight out to take me on directly. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that is enough for now, because we have done huge amounts of damage to the Kingdom of Wu today. But now, we are coming up on the end, and the end deserves its own part, ladies and gentlemen. Because after we've secured the Imperial Thrones, it'll be time to wrap things up. We'll need to figure out what shape our China should take. All of that will be coming up in the grand finale next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John Smith, many a true nerd. This has been Total War Three Kingdoms. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much.
in Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah. 